Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 7th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Gratitude. Another exercise that I practice is to try for a full inventory of my blessings and then for a right acceptance of the many gifts that are mine, both temporal and spiritual. I try to hold fast to the truth that a full and thankful heart cannot entertain great conceits. When brimming with gratitude, one's heartbeat must surely result in outgoing love, the finest emotion that we can ever know. Bill W., March 1962, The Language of the Heart, page 271. Thought to consider. I have learned what a heart full of gratitude feels like. Acronyms. Alcoholics. A life centered on helping others live in complete sobriety. Just for today. Best of intentions. Step 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him. Praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. Of course, it is reasonable and understandable that the question is often asked, why can't we take a specific and troubling dilemma straight to God and in prayer secure from Him sure and definite answers to our requests? This can be done, but it has hazards. We have seen AAs ask with much earnestness and faith for God's explicit guidance on matters ranging all the way from a shattering domestic or financial crisis to correcting a minor personal fault like tardiness. Quite often, however, the thoughts that seem to come from God are not answers at all. They prove to be well-intentioned, unconscious rationalizations. The AA, or indeed any man who tries to run his life rigidly by this kind of prayer, by this self-serving demand of God for replies, is a particularly disconcerting individual. To any questioning or criticism of his actions, he instantly proffers his reliance upon prayer for guidance in all matters great or small. He may have forgotten the possibility that his own wishful thinking and the human tendency to rationalize have distorted his so-called guidance. With the best of intentions, he tends to force his own will into all sorts of situations and problems with the comfortable assurance that he is acting under God's specific direction. Under such an illusion, he can, of course, create great havoc without in the least intending it. 1981, Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, pages 103 to 104. Daily Reflections. Daily Monitoring. Continue to take personal inventory. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 88. The spiritual axiom referred to in the 10th step. Every time we are disturbed, no matter what the cause, there is something wrong with us also tells me that there are no exceptions to it. No matter how unreasonable others may seem, I am responsible for not reacting negatively. Regardless of what is happening around me, I will always have the prerogative and the responsibility of choosing what happens within me. I am the creator of my own reality. When I take my daily inventory, I know that I must stop judging others. If I judge others, I am probably judging myself. Whoever is upsetting me most is my best teacher. I have much to learn from him or her, and in my heart, I should thank that person. As Bill sees it, spiritually fit. Assuming we are spiritually fit, we can do all sorts of things alcoholics are not supposed to do. People have said we must not go where liquor is served. We must not have it in our homes. We must shun friends who drink. We must avoid moving pictures which show drinking scenes. We must not go into bars. Our friends must hide their bottles if we go to their houses. We mustn't think or be reminded about alcohol at all. Our experience shows that this is not necessarily so. We meet these conditions every day. An alcoholic who cannot meet them still has an alcoholic mind. There is something the matter with his spiritual status. His only chance for sobriety would be someplace like the Greenland ice cap. And even there, an Eskimo might turn up with a bottle of scotch and ruin everything. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 100 to 101. Big book quote. Follow the dictates of a higher power 
and you will presently live in a new and wonderful world, no matter what your present circumstances. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Working with Others, page 100. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Do I put too much reliance on any one member of the group? That is, do I make a tin god out of some one person? Do I set that person on a pedestal? If I do, I am building my house on sand. AA members have clay feet. They are all only one drink away from a drunk, no matter how long they have been in AA. This has proved to be true more than once. It is not fair to any one member to be singled out as a leader in AA and to always quote that member on the AA program. If that person should fail, where would I be? Meditation for the day. You must always remember that you are weak, but that God is strong. God knows all about your weakness. He hears every cry for mercy, every sign of weakness, every plea for help, every sorrow over failure, every weakness felt and expressed. We only fail when we trust too much to our own strength. Do not feel bad about your weakness. When you are weak, that is when God is strong to help you. Trust God enough and your weakness will not matter. God is always strong to save. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may learn to lean on God's strength. I pray that I may know that my weakness is God's opportunity. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.